This uh, National Guardsman here with a military high and tight cut. Uh, we really cut it super close, faded in a ball fade at the bottom. I was well pleased with this cut. I want to go back and show you a clip of it. Real nice guy from over around Florence. Uh, actually taking that razor and shaving right at the bottom. You get a super ball fade at the bottom. Nice looking haircut. That this camera makes it look video on the, the actual uh, computer makes it look dark, but it actually really faded nicely. It's a little bit darker his hair is in the, this video than the other. So it, it, it's super faded. So it really turned out really nice. So I was well pleased with it. And, uh, I wanted to make sure I got this one on this uh, product you call a collage of haircuts I'm doing. Picking out some of my better looking cuts. This haircut's turning out pretty good today. Actually going back and looking at uh, the footage of this cut. Kind of a bob cut. Ford, uh, kind of a stacked up look. Kind of a bobbish look. Uh, she really enjoyed this cut. Really liked it the time she, we finished with it. And I admit it was really an improvement on her hair. You know kind of say a little bit about it. I want to show a little bit of this footage in this uh, documentary we're doing on the cuts. We're drying this other side, getting ready for that. So, uh, this is one of the cuts, the women's cuts we did. It really turned out good. I'm well pleased with this style here. Uh, layered it right on down with the two at the bottom. And uh, just a real pretty look. Real pretty lady. So, uh, kind of see the style there. Scissor cut on top, faded in on the sides. I really did this cut years ago, a little more than lately. But uh, this cut looks so good on her. I was so well pleased with it. I want to make sure I got it on this little documentary here of these cuts. So, uh, see, we angled it down there pretty sharp two on the sides and the bottom one I put my finger at now so you can see that so, turn out really nice good looking haircut this girl had a head full of hair a long look cutting it off there and uh, Took a lot for her to get that cut. I mean, she's just uh, so long. She said it too. Decided to go ahead and get it cut some. Just so much to handle for her. So being able to dry it and, and and make it feasible to go to school every day. She's getting ready to go off to college. Almost looks like she should be a model. So tall. Real beautiful girl, just a one length hairstyle. I hear him doing a long layered cut uh, on this young lady. This is a layered look we're doing all over. Thing turned out real nice that day, really nice. I know one time I did up to 18 perms in one week once when I did perms a lot. Made a lot, a little more money back in those days probably, but I really enjoy what I'm doing better now, just cutting hair. I let my sister take care of most of the perms. I never really in, liked it that much, but I was real good at it because I had to make a living. and uh, That's one reason I did that, but I'd rather just cut hair. So I'm just showing her a little bit here what I'm doing, what I'm doing to her hair just to she said not quite that much, I think is what she said there. So let's, let's take it up. We're getting these ends off of that cut, so it's turned out pretty decent. Pretty decent. Go down here a little further and show you the finished results of it. 
this pretty young lady was getting her hair showing the combing through it and seeing she really liked it afterwards. She never really know about this. Well, I think she liked it. Pretty real pretty girl, so haircut looked real good. It's kinda of hard for somebody to look right into the camera, but I think she has really enjoyed the cut. That's her and her boyfriend, fiance, getting ready to get married. They got a little sugar, so <laughs> I was real interested. That's my little Grant getting a cut at the house. Just a little buzz top cut and forward cut in the front. Pull down cut with the shears. Actually about a two on the side, I think. Maybe down to one at the bottom, I'm not sure. Anyway, he was cutting up with the camera in the uh, mirror, cutting up just a little bit. He tickles me just a little. He don't care about eating these little, little skinny things. He didn't take after his daddy on that now. Well, here we go. There you go, boy. Okay. 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 Yeah. I didn't have everything I needed down there at the house to cut that cut with. Old pair of clippers. Things turn out good. This little guy's going to Bible college. Gentleman's type cut. Falling back down with different blades. Falling down with the three right here now. Half an inch blade. Now I'm going to go back to my final touches. I'm going to trim up the comb, come over to the protect me. People really like this little cut we did. It was real simple, real easy. I think it upset some of the people on YouTube to see a barber be able to use scissors too. <laughs> I don't know, but I've always, I've always used them because that's what I did to start with. You know? Yes, sir. That's about all I did to start with. Didn't use clipper. Didn't know what a clipper was to start with for 20, yeah. 35 years ago, when four years ago when I started. I didn't know what a clipper was really. We just didn't use them. It was the point where clippers had gone out of style. You know. If you went to barber school, you weren't going to make a living. Later on, I changed to barber. I got more into using clippers, doing the shortcuts and everything. Changed over to master barber. When I took the exam, and uh, haven't looked back since. I've enjoyed it. I was able to take and train four different ones, I think. Yeah, they got the license under me. Because South Carolina lets us have a program to train people in the shop. And I uh, had several more that never got their license, but did take the training so it was good help them wouldn't well, had a chance to go any other way besides me helping them you know training them which haven't taken anybody in two or three years I probably won't take anybody anytime soon to train because it kind of interrupts you just a little bit when you're trying to do business it hurts business just a little bit because you're trying to stop and take care of the people and train them help to train them you can see what we're doing here. You just keep working and finagling with it until we get it right. This guy's hair really turned out well. I want you to so. see a little bit of this one, you know. Okay. This cut here, I'm well pleased with it. it turned out really nice. Of course, Jesus Christ could get a haircut on the internet, and they'd have something to say against it. I mean, you know, so, so uh, I had a lot more people liking the looks of this cut than didn't like it. Uh, I had a lot of visits. I think this is my most uh, well-received video on the net. I think. I think it turned out really nice. 
I'm well pleased with it. Something different, something unique. If you put a tuxedo on with this haircut, it's noticed. That's what you need to do is dress up when you got a haircut like that. You need to go somewhere. If I had some hair, I'd have me a haircut like that. Maybe some <laughs> when I was younger, at least. Not being 53 years old, I don't think I would. But I kind of like the looks of that cut. Anyway, that's my video that's had my top. I think I had 87 thousand people look at this video. I think it was. I'm not for sure. Got to go back and look at it. It's well received. Like I say, some neg negative comments, but mostly good comments. I don't know. I just want you to get a glimpse of this cut again. This guy's getting a flat top cut skinning it down on the sides and uh, I want you to be able to see a little bit of this cut this. we went extremely short with this cut before it was over with but See some of the technique I use on the flat top. This is the brother of the little guy that I've had so many did so many I had so many visits this flat top that I did it was really shaved on the side. It's this guy's brother. And uh he wanted to come get his cut the same way, so we're working on it about to get it here, so the flat top look. This is a song I wrote about twenty one or two years ago. Blessed Holy Spirit, fill me with your love. Inspired by God, uh, I thought I'd share it with you.
cutting toddlers hair here. Soften these bangs just a little bit. Doing the forward cut. It was pretty long when he got in here that day. Texturizing the bangs there just slightly. Pretty good looking little cut. Oh, you, can, you can see you cutting right there. Just walk through there. Yeah. You know, cut about 15 heads a day or 16. I think it was 16 heads I cut the day before. 3 o'clock, so about 2.30 I was finished. So about what was going on there. A lot of days on Saturday, I get 20 heads before 3 o'clock. We're going to have to cut straight through from 8 o'clock to 3 to cut that many heads. So. in a few minutes probably as usual reckon I'm gonna get the bed old man and go to sleep anytime now Let's go and cut one of my friends, a barber that from Florence, South Carolina, that moved here, married a lady. And he's got down with his hip, and I had to go cut his hair right quick. So I, I came back by, and Donna wasn't busy right then, so I said, go ahead and cut something, cut mine a little bit.
<clears throat> and this flat top is one that had like 90 something thousand visits. I think so 80 something or 90 something thousand visits. So he's a little autistic guy. He's just graduated from high school and uh, he really loves a flat top haircut. So that's what we're looking at now. Okay. Somebody said it won't square enough, so I reckon I had to show them what I could do. <laughs> I ain't been doing this for 33 years, 32 years for no reason. There I am bragging. I think it turned out I pretty good. It took five minutes, folks. It took me about 30 some minutes probably to do it. Thing looks right. good on her I was so well pleased with it I want to make sure I got it on this little documentary here of these cuts so uh, see we angled it down there pretty sharp the two on the sides and the bottom one I put my finger at now so you can see that so, turn out really nice good looking haircut This girl had a head full of hair, a long look, cutting it off there. I know. Took a lot for her to get that cut. I mean, she just uh, so long. She said it to uh, decided to go ahead and get it cut some. Just so much to handle for her. So. Been able to dry it and, and, and make it feasible to go to school every day. She's getting ready to go off to college. Almost looks like she should be a model. So tall. Real beautiful girl. Just a one length hairstyle. I hear him doing a long layered cut uh, on this young lady. This is a layered look we're doing all over. Thing turned out real nice that day. Really nice. I know one time I did up to 18 perms in one week once when I did perms a lot. Made a lot a little more money back in those days probably, but I really enjoy what I'm doing better now, just cutting hair. I let my sister take care of most of the perms. I never really in, liked it that much, but I was real good at it because I had to make a living. And uh, that's one reason I did that, but I'd rather just cut hair. So I'm just showing her a little bit here what I'm doing, what I'm doing to her hair. Just to, she said not quite that much, I think is what she said there. So let's, let's take it up. We're getting those ends off of that cut. So it's turned out pretty decent, pretty decent. Go down here a little further and show you the finished results of it. This pretty young lady was getting her hair, showing the combing through it and seeing she really liked it afterwards. She's never really know about this. Well, I think she liked it. Pretty, real pretty girl. So, haircut looked real good. It's kind of hard for somebody to look right into the camera, but I think she really enjoyed the cut. That's her and her boyfriend, fiance, getting ready to get married. They got a little sugar, so. <laughs> I've really this uh, National Guardsman here with a military high and tight cut. Uh, we really cut it super close, faded in a ball fade at the bottom. I was well pleased with this cut. I want to go back and show you a clip a bit. Real nice guy from over around Florence. Uh, actually taking that razor and shaving right at the bottom. You get a super ball fade at the bottom. Nice looking haircut.
that this camera makes it look video on the, the actual uh, computer makes it look dark but they actually really faded nicely it's a little bit darker as areas in this video than the other so it, it, it's super faded so it really turned out really nice so I was well pleased with it and, uh, I wanted to make sure I got this one on this uh, product you call it a collage of haircuts I'm doing picking out some of my better looking cuts this haircuts turning out pretty good today actually going back and looking at uh, the footage of this cut kind of a bob cut Ford uh, kind of a stacked up look kind of a bobbish look uh, she really enjoyed this cut really liked the time she we finished with it and I admit it was really an improvement on her hair and uh, kind of say a little bit about it I want to show a little bit of this footage in this uh, documentary we're doing on the cuts we're drying this other side getting ready for that so, uh, this is one of the cuts the women's cuts we did it really turned out good I'm well pleased with this style here uh, layered it right on down with the two at the bottom and uh, just a real pretty look real pretty lady so uh, kind of see the style there scissor cut on top faded in on the sides I really did this cut years ago a little more than lately but uh, this cut looks so good on her I was so well pleased with it I want to make sure I got it on this little documentary here of these cuts so uh, see we angled it down there pretty sharp the two on the sides and the bottom one I put my finger at now so you can see that so, turn out really nice good looking haircut Tyler's hair here. Soften these bangs just a little bit. Doing the forward cut. It was pretty long when he got in here that day. Texturizing the bangs there just slightly.
skinning it down on the sides and uh, once you'll be able to see a little bit of this cut this. we went extremely short with this cut before it was over with but see some of the technique I use on the flat top This is the brother of the little guy that I've had so many did so many I had so many visits this flat top that I did it was really shaved on the side it's this guy's brother and uh he wanted to come get his cut the same way so we're working on it about to get it here so the flat top look This is a song I wrote about 21 or two years ago. Blessed Holy Spirit, fill me with your love. Inspired by God, uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Fall them back down with different blades. Fall them down with a three right here now. Half an inch blade. Now I'm going to go back to my final touches. I'm going to trim them comb, comb over the clipper technique. A lot of people really like this little cut we did. It was real simple, real easy. I think it upset some of the people on YouTube to see a barber be able to use scissors too. <laughs> I've, always, I've always used them because that's what I did to start with. You know? Yes, sir. That's about all I did to start with. Didn't use clipper. Didn't know what a clipper was to start with for 20, yeah. 35 years ago, when four years ago when I started. I didn't know what a clipper was really. We just didn't use them. It was the point where clippers had gone out of style. You know. If you went to barber school, you weren't going to make a living. Later on, I changed to barber. I got more into using clippers, doing the shortcuts and everything. Changed over to master barber. Went and took the exam. And uh, haven't looked back since. I've enjoyed it. I was able to take and train four different ones, I think. Yeah, they got their license under me. Because South Carolina lets us have a program to train people in the shop. And I uh, had several more that never got their license. but did take the training so it was good help them wasn't had a chance to go any other way besides me helping them you know training them which I haven't taken anybody in two or three years I probably won't take anybody anytime soon to train because it kind of interrupts you just a little bit when you're trying to do business it hurts business just a little bit because you're trying to stop and 
take care of the people and train them, help to train them. You can see what we're doing here. Just keep working and finagling with it until we get it right. This guy's hair really turned out well. I want you to see, see a little bit of this one, you know. Okay. This cut here, I'm well pleased with it. Turned out really nice. Of course, Jesus Christ could get a haircut on the internet and they'd have something to say against it. I mean, you know, so. So, uh, I had a lot more people liking the looks of this cut than didn't like it. Uh, I had a lot of visits. I think this is my most uh, well received video on the net, I think. I think it turned out really nice.